Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. And today I will be making a gatefold style card. And this features a center panel using Penny Black's transparent stamp set Woodland Beauty and also the creative die Snowman Joy. And so to begin, I'm going to create my gatefold card base. And my card stock is five and a half inches tall by eight and a half inches long and I'm just scoring here at two and one eighth inches and I'll just turn then that cardstock and score again at the two and one eighth inches and this is going to create my card base for the gatefold so once I've scored those I can just go ahead and fold them towards the center and it will be ready to go and when I work on that center panel that will just be adhered down on one side of that gatefold card base and I'll show you more of that at the end of the video. So now we'll go ahead and begin working on the center panel and I'm starting by stamping this great tree from the Penny Black set Woodland Beauty and I'm first inking that with Spanish Ma, or excuse me, Olympia Green VersaFine ink. That's the darker color. And I'm stamping this in my Misty, and I'm just going to do a couple impressions just to darken up the color, but you could certainly stamp this using just a regular acrylic block as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and reposition that stamp and stamp it a couple more times, but this time in a lighter color. And this color is called Spanish Moss, and this is another VersaFine ink color and I'll double stamp that as well. Now on that first tree you can see that it's raised up a little bit higher from the base of the center panel and that's no big deal. I'm going to be covering that with a little hand trimmed snow bank. So I'm just looking mostly at the position of the tops of the trees and I'll get one more tree stamped here. And again I'm inking this with that lighter color which is the Spanish Moss VersaFine ink. Now that those are stamped, I'm going to add some inking to the background and I'm using Memento inks and an ink blending tool with a foam pad. And I'm starting with pistachio ink and I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up towards the top of the sky. And I actually flipped this over, it just felt a little more comfortable for me when I was starting at the bottom and working my way up to have the panel upside down. So that's just a tip if you're inking something and it doesn't feel like it's very comfortable. Turn your panel every which way until it is easier for you to apply the ink. Now I'm going to add a darker color of ink towards the bottom and this is Olive Grove Memento ink. You could also use Distress inks or whatever inks you like to use for sponging your backgrounds. Now I definitely needed to add some snowflakes to this background and I'm using the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors and this is the titanium white color. And I just dip my paintbrush in there and splatter away. And this is just a really easy way to add those snowflakes to the background. I had just a clump there I was picking up with the brush and I let that dry. I hand trimmed this little snow bank from some white cardstock and I'm adding that pistachio ink just right along the edges. And then I'll adhere that down on the panel. Now I'm ready to work on this snowman. I love this creative die from Penny Black. It's called Snowman Joy. And I wanted to add a touch of shading. So I'm using my Tombow Dual Brush Markers. You could use whatever you like to do use for shading. You could use Copic Markers, any of your watercolors. I'm just adding a touch of a light gray here on the body. And almost all of my supplies, including these colors of markers and the Penny Black stamps and dies, at the end of the video. I wanted to give his cheeks a little bit of blush. So again, picking up that marker color with a little water in my paintbrush. And then also blending it with just some water. And he was die cut from watercolor paper. Now I'm going to color with the marker directly onto his arms. And I'm using a dark brown and then also more of an orange brown color on top and those two will blend together here when I add the water with my paintbrush on top. Finally I'll add a little color to his nose and blend it with a paintbrush and his mouth die cuts a very small 
slit there for his mouth. So on the back, I just color with a dark black marker, and it just helps that to show up a little bit more. And here's a look at the finished card. I just wanted to give you a better peek at that shading. And I also added a little bit of that pistachio green ink with the foam ink blending tool around the edges. So now I wanted to work on some stamping to cover the background of that gatefold card I made at the beginning. So I'm just inking some white cardstock with potting soil archival ink. And there's no particular reason this needed to be archival ink. I just chose it based on the color that I wanted. I was creating the look of a craft cardstock. And I find that this color, as well when it's mixed with a rusty hinge distress ink, creates the look of craft cardstock, but it still has that variance in color from the inking and the sponging instead of being a real flat look that you get when you just use a cardstock. But either way is fine, whatever you prefer or have on hand. So here I am just adding that rusty hinge distress ink, and all of these are added with ink blending tool with foam pad, starting off the edge and working on with a circular motion. I'm going to be stamping over the top of this, so it's really not important um, that it be perfectly uh, smooth blend to the background. So for my stamping, I'm using Petty Black Footnote Stamp. I use this all the time, and I'm inking that with Memento Espresso Truffle Ink and just stamping, working my way down the panel, and I'll do the whole panel. So here's just a look at the finished card. I took that stamped panel that I made, I tore it along one edge and added it to one side of the gatefold card. On the other side, I added the interlocking creative die in white, and then I mounted that snowman panel just by applying adhesive on the left-hand side of the panel and then gluing it down onto the left-hand side of the gatefold card base. And here's another look at that finished card. That center panel was also mounted to a piece of craft cardstock. And I embellished it with snowflakes from Penny Black's Creative Dye Snowflake Duo. One was cut from the leftover piece of paper that I had stamped with the footnote stamp, and the other just from white cardstock. And I added some pearls and some twine. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and of course our blog and website, and I'll link to all of those down below in the YouTube description box.